Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. <laughs> I'm so excited for this look. At the same time, I feel like, who is this person? Mm -hmm. I look very rich though. Anyways, I think you can already tell by my hairstyle and by the makeup and you know, all that stuff that this look is all about Hollywood glam. We have that... I wanted to do a classic um, Hollywood look and I think it turned out pretty good. So if you're wondering how I created this look, then keep on watching. So guys, here we are, video number two, and today is all about Hollywood glam. I quickly want to give all the hairdressers a big shout out because I have so much respect for you. I tried to do this hair for like, I don't know, for like maybe 45 minutes and I still couldn't do it. So I tried my best, but you guys, I'm so not a hairdresser. So all my respect for you because it is a hard job. It, it looks easy, but it's really not. And since we are talking about Hollywood, I want the face to look super snatched, full coverage, but not cakey, um, bronzy, glowy, and all that good stuff. And then the eyes, we are going to keep it simple, but we are going to still look glam. So a lot of neutral gold tones, and the lips, I'm still in doubt, like red is obviously like classic Hollywood, but maybe that would be too obvious. So maybe I will do red with a, you know, with a sprinkle of Dylan on it. So to prime my face, but I'm not sure if it's a, officially a primer, but it's the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir glowy thing. And what I really love about this one is just, first of all, it smells really nice. It's super smooth and it hydrates the skin. For foundation, I'm going to use Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. I haven't used this in a long time, so I hope the shade matches. It's Warm Nude. I think it's going to be a match. It's a very nice match. Okay. Obviously, we're going full in, full coverage, a la Hollywood. Everybody wants to Hollywood. Oh, oh, okay, Too Faced. I have to blend oh my god this is very tricky because i'm wearing a dress from asos but obviously you can only see this but i thought this is so hollywood <gasps> i'm scared to even like touch it but um hmm we're just going to bring it right down to here maybe a little bit of the ear i can't put foundation on my ears because of the piercings oh my god the coverage of this foundation <gasps> You see the match? That's a match. First time we have a very, very good match on this channel. <laughs> oh my God, I have to use this foundation way more often. I mean, that's a really nice foundation. Okay, slightly around the neck. How do people do this? Foundation is looking snatched. And finally, we have a match. Yay, we have a match. <laughs> Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, like medium honey, like that, like this. Then we're going in with my Beauty Blender. I feel like this look is going to be like very wearable, obviously, you know, just because it's glam season. I love to be a little bit extra with the hair and do it like a typical Hollywood glam. But if you just would wear your hair like really casual, um and a very casual like chic outfit you can definitely wear like any look that i make like that i'm going to use a slightly lighter concealer this one is from ColourPop in the shade light 20 just to brighten up the under eye a little bit more also to highlight like that I'm also going to use it on my eyelid as a base. Honestly, I'm like quite nervous. What do you guys think of glam season so far? I know this is the second look, but I don't know. I'm like excited. I'm like nervous for it, which is weird because it's just another tutorial on my channel. For some reason, I am pretty, pretty excited. Okay, so far 
everything is looking good oh this foundation is so good i'm kind of like mad at myself for not using it more often to contour my face i'm going to use a cream contour and i'm going to use this stick right here i remember really loving this shade and this is in the shade medium and it's from artist of makeups aom cosmetics and i remember using it way more often back in the days but um you just get overwhelmed with so many products then you're just like you forget what you really loved which is a shame because you're missing out on good products okay so i'm going in quite high more like that around the jawline okay around the hairline and around my forehead i'm also going to make it darker right about here and right here i'm going to use a contour brush from boozy shop it's actually meant for powder bronzers and contour shades but i'm just going in and fade it with this one I know it looks harsh, but we're going to blend this all the way into the hairline so we have a nice shadow going on. Oh, I love this shade to contour my face with. I don't want the contour all to come down, so I'm just going to blend it so it's a little bit more high. Oh my god, this contour shade, this foundation, it's just so good. Whatever is left on my brush, I'm just going to bring this down towards the nose and right here so we have a bit of a shadow going on but not like a very harsh contour nose to set my face i'm going to use a fit me powder by maybelline in the shade fair and i'm only going to set where we've highlighted and where we've put concealer so that's going to be underneath the eyes honestly you guys if you could see this base in real life like even though if I say it myself, it's so good. So much better than um, a lot of other foundations that I use. Okay, so a chin around the mouth. A little bit on the nose. And like for our head. So like in the center of the face. I also do my brows a little because the product is going to stick like underneath the brow into the skin now i'm going to use mac give me sun bronzer and i'm just going to set um the places where we've used the cream contour and make it also a little bit warmer okay and everything that looks too harsh just going in with my beauty blender so everything melts into each other so i think the contour looks a little bit like so i don't know what we're wearing as but you know what i mean like we can do it better so i'm going in with my um translucent powder again and we're just going to bake a little okay so we're just going to set that for about a minute or two because i'm going to do my brows and you know so we don't have to worry about brows anymore and then we're going to do snatch this face and eyes and I'm excited about this, so I'll see you in a second. So the brows are done. I am going to give this face a little bit of a glow because I feel like, you know, we need to blend everything together. Um, so for highlighter, I'm going to use this beautiful highlighter palette from Ofra Cosmetics. It's called all glowed up and you have different highlighters in one so it's actually a very good palette also for traveling we have rodeo drive oh, such a beautiful one star island blissful and beverly hills which is this but i'm going in with a rodeo drive which is this one because it's like super glowy if it's going to be too light obviously we're going to mix it with another color okay i'm going to use my anastasia beverly hills a 23 brush for this wow Wowie, that is beautiful. So I'm going in a little bit more, also a little bit above the brows. Wow, we are glowing. I like to bring it a little bit more towards the temple, so all the way up to about there. Oh my goodness, this looks good. Down to ooh nose guys glow 
or not to glow. Glow or not to glow. Wow, that looks good. I just, I do need to say it looks a little bit silvery. So I'm going in with Blissful, right? No, sorry, Star Island, which is this one. It's a little bit more golden. Going on top of that to make it less, you know, silverish, ashy. Okay, for blush, you already guessed it. It's the Rimmel London um, Sweet Cheeks blush. It's just a perfect blush for almost every look. So that's why I've been using this one a lot. And I think it's going to look good with this look as well. I'm going to use this fluffy brush from MAC. Oh, sorry, Morphe in M500. So just so I can just sweep it like that. Also going to use a little bit of this blush right here. So everything comes together. And now I'm going to spray my face with All Nighter Setting Spray. This is, by the way, the cherry scent, you know, from the cherry collection. Smells nice. I'm not going to use a lot because we're going to use this later again. Now I'm going to zoom you in. I'm bringing you closer, closer to me. And then we'll do the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I actually received the Huda Beauty Melted um, Eyeshadows like the matte and the shimmer side. This was one of the shades. It's a little bit more of a golden shade. I think this one was the lightest, but you can easily like do a cut crease with it. You have a matte side and we have a shimmer side. So maybe we'll do like a very light cut crease and yeah, I think that will look good. But first I'm going to use a new palette as well, which is from Makeup Addiction and it's Sinful Eyes. I love this packaging and the colors look absolutely stunning. And it was Nikki Tutorials approved. And if it's Nikki approved, I'm not even going to doubt it, okay? So I'm sure this will work. I am going to start off with some brown colors. I'm going to use Naked Lunch first. And I'm going to use my Morphe M511 brush for this. So we're going in with Naked Lunch. Make sure there are no creases before you're going to put your eyeshadow on. So we're just going to not blend it yet, but just first just packing the eyeshadow as you can see i love this color by the way and i'm also blending it towards the brow but that's optional if you have kind of like flat eyes like mine and you don't have a lot of definition in your face around this area you can do this so it will create like it will have the illusion that your eyes are a little deeper than they actually are and i'm just blending it i like to bring it a little bit more like the outside of the eye okay so that's the first color very natural so the next color that I'm going to use is shameless which is this beautiful brown reddish color right here and I'm going to use my BH cosmetics brush for this there is no number on it but it's kind of like a small tip of blending brush I'm just going to pack this on carefully because we don't want full outs okay so now we can blend this so that is a really nice shade okay so we're just blending it a little bit more i'm going back in with naked lunch again i'm just going to blend this so that is nicely blended okay i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm also going to use a little bit of the wild free which is this burnt orange color and I'm going to use that to blend the darker shade a little better into the um, lighter shade. Now the very exciting part, I'm going to use Huda Beauty's new product. And I'm going to use the matte shade, which is called the Faux Fur, to cut the crease with. And I'm kind of like in doubt, like should I just, like should I just use the wand or should I just go in with a brush? I'm just going to try it out first and if I mess up I'll just go in with a brush okay I'm going to do a half cut crease I really like this color even though it's matte it's still like super smooth I'm going in with a brush just to get the end super clear okay honestly it's quite easy you guys know I'm not like really good in doing cut creases but this makes it quite easy I don't know what it is, the applicator or like um, the product, but it makes it easy, easier, 
you should say. Okay, that looks pretty good. Obviously, we're just going to blend everything that's going on here. Ooh, ooh, I like that shade. I actually like it so much, I don't even want to put eyeshadow on top of that. But I'm also very curious to try out the golden shade, like the uh, metallic shade on the other side. Okay, I'm going back in. Okay, I think so far so good, even though that looks terrible right now. I do have to say, like, once this is dry, there's no way back to really correct it. So if you have to do it, do it right. Now I'm taking my Natasha Denona Gold Palette. And I'm going to use the shade Log, which is this beautiful, cool-toned brown shade right here. And I'm going to darken up the outer edges and blend that. Okay, so I'm just going to press this. As you can see, it's, like, super pigmented. I'm not going to make it too dark because we are going to do something fun with the lips. Now I'm going to use the other side from the Huda Beauty Melt Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. And I'm going on top of the cut crease with this. Ooh, that is extremely, extremely pigmented. And you can work really precise with this. Wow, that is absolutely freaking stunning. Huda, you are running the game. Okay, I'm just going to let this dry and not look up for a second, but I am going to show you what I'm going to use to blend these two into each other. I'm going to use a slightly lighter color, which is this brown color right here. Can you see that? I'm going to use this, also from the Tisha Nona palette, to blend those two into each other. Okay, like that. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this color right here to use it like to get rid of that line right there. You see that? I'm going back in with the brown shade with this shade right here. And I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line to smoke it out a little bit but i'm not going to make it too dark so just to smoke it out oh it's so beautifully pigmented natasha denona you're just so freaking good so i'm not going to put anything in a waterline maybe except for like a lighter a pencil okay so that is how the eyeshadow looks like i mean the Huda Beauty is like so sick. The only thing is it does feel like those peel off things. You know what I mean? It feels like I have a sticker on my eyes right now. It's not necessarily like annoying, but it's just makes me scared if it's going to like be flaky and all that. So I'm just going to give it a chance and see what happens. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight Duo Pencil. I'm going to use the matte shade. And just actually this is meant for brows, but I feel like this is super good for cleaning up your waterline like that i'm also going to use a highlighter on my inner corners and i'm going to use my detailed lip it's actually a lip brush from sigma for that because i think that will work pretty good oh that looks pretty good i have to blend it a little bit better but i'm going to use Ofra cosmetics highlighter and i'm taking this shade and this shade so this one and this one and i'm using my sigma detailed lip brush which is obviously a lip brush, but it works pretty good for this as well. Okay, ooh, I like that. You have to like that, but I like that. Okay, I'm going to apply some lashes and then I'll be right back to do the lips. And then this look is almost finished. I've applied the lashes. These are Lily Lashes in Hollywood. And I didn't do that on purpose, by the way, but I've been really loving these lashes lately. They are slightly different than Miami, which is also one of my fave, but they are, I don't know, maybe a little longer and a little bit more fluffy. And for lips, I thought, you know, we could do red lips because that's like typical Hollywood. But uh, at the same time, it's kind of like predictable. I didn't want to do nude. I obviously, I always want to do nude, but, um, you know, that's not going to be, that's maybe like modern Hollywood. So I thought, let's do a bold lip. And I saw this color from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is still in the red brown tones, maybe like, yeah, red brown. Um, but I love this so much. So I'm going to use this vamp did i say that vamp by anastasia Beverly hills and then with my hex lip liner from uh, urban decay so let's see 
Okay, so I think that lip shade looks absolutely stunning. Should we do a little bit of an ombre lip? Well, if it's not going to look pretty, I can just go over with the vamp shade. Okay, maybe just a little bit of Bohemian from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well in the middle. Let's see what effect that is going to create. I'm going to make the lip liner slightly darker with Doom lip liner from NYX Cosmetics, which is also more purple, but I actually don't mind that it's a little bit uh, purple. Just going to add a little bit more highlighter. Okay, I'm going to fix this hair. Make sure there's nothing on my teeth. And I will show you the end result, which you already see, but you know what I mean. I just want to look a little. So that's it for this look. I do have to get used to this look because it's quite classy. But, you know, that was the goal for today because we're talking about Hollywood. We're talking about, you know, like, husband, put some lights on me. You know, red carpet, Hollywood, celebrities. And when you think about, like, classic Hollywood, I think about this look and this hairstyle, which took me two hours. No, not two hours, almost one hour. Anyways, I hope you guys like this look. I personally really did. The cut crease was very easy to do. Usually it takes me so much longer. So that's why I do really love the Huda Beauty new melted shadows. Um, I do have to say I have to wear it a little longer to see what the shadow is going to do. It doesn't feel dry anymore. Natasha Denona, super pigmented. Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, I love the shadow, but I only used two shades. I love them both. Um, yeah, and that's it for this look right yes i'm going to prepare myself for look number three because that's going up tomorrow um i hope you guys liked it i hope you get some inspiration out of this look if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell follow me on instagram and on facebook and it's all called the same it's all called the and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye